Happy holidays and welcome to the entertaining season of the year. This is my favorite time to uh, celebrate with friends and of course anytime I celebrate it's got to be with a cocktail and uh, there is no better man to make me a cocktail than my buddy Justin Taylor, the uh, what, would, what would we call you? The bar manager. The bar manager yeah. here at Boulevard at the Sutton Place Hotel. I've actually followed Justin around a few bars uh, like a lost puppy. And uh, <laughs> you've made me many a drink, my yes, friend. Yes, indeed. And uh, one of the things that you're famous for in town is for really sourcing locally with your spirits and the cocktails that you make. So why don't you maybe tell everyone a little bit about your philosophy when making drinks? Well, keeping things local is, is not only important overall, um, it, it allows me to tell a story in a glass. And that's the biggest thing, it's, it's a connection. Um, I've been working in international hotels for quite a long time now and when we see all kinds of different tourists from all over the world what can I do to showcase the city you know bartenders we get to act like a, like a concierge essentially so we're always telling people where to go and, and, and what to do and what to see in, in this great city so for me if I'm able to tell a story inside the glass that gives a, a, a great experience that you're not going to find anywhere else so what I mean by that is not only the local spirits that we can get into it it's and we've got we've got quite a few here: Long Table, Victoria, yeah. uh, Okanagan Valley, uh, Okanagan, Okanagan Spirits. Spirits. Yeah, there's some tremendous uh, spirit companies out here, and, and they're relatively new. Okanagan Spirits has been around for a long time, and they are probably the uh, the premier spirit company in, in British Columbia. Um, as much as the spirits are fantastic, what goes into a cocktail is often non-alcoholic. Mm. So when you're sourcing things, like the cocktail I'm going to make for you is infused with thyme. It's important to find local growers of thyme. Um, we've got cranberry juice and we're using, you know, we have one of the, yeah. the, the biggest cranberry um, places. Richmond, Richmond, Richmond Langley, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're everywhere here. Yeah, they're all over the place. And, and honey as well. We source that out of uh, Honey Bee Center out in, out in uh, Surrey and Langley. Um, so it's really making sure that we, we keep as local as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can't always do it with the spirit. But you can always do it with the produce. You can Fantastic. find ways to get it in there. So that's kind of the first step of the story in the glass. The next part, step is, is naming it. Mm -hmm. Cocktails are, are famous for having crazy names. Um, this particular one is called Professor Suzuki. And it's after, named David, after David Suzuki, David Suzuki and, and the, the great environmentalist. So this cocktail is really about reducing the carbon footprint. So we're able to call it something. Okay, seriously, I'm now... <laughs> I'm, I can do more for the environment by drinking every day if I have a Professor Suzuki. Is exactly. that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Oh my God, I'm running for office. I think yeah, I'm going to be helping. the new mayor of Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so this is something easy anyone can make at home when they're going to be entertaining over the holidays and they will wow their guests. Absolutely. Um, one of the most famous cocktails out there is the Cosmopolitan. So this is a real riff on the Cosmopolitan. With uh, cranberry juice and thyme involved, you're experiencing some of the Christmas flavors already. So what we've done is infuse the long table vodka. Um, this is really simple. You throw a couple pieces of thyme inside, let it sit for 24 hours, and all that beautiful thyme flavor comes out. So we'll start with two ounces of that. I personally never use a shot glass when I'm mixing, but maybe that's why you're a bar manager and I'm a drinker. Well, exactly. <laughs> and using a shot glass is all about keeping your recipe intact. If you're out of whack on your spirits and liqueurs, your cocktail is not going to balance. This is sea buckthorn liqueur. Uh, this comes from Okanagan Spirits. Sea Buckthorn is not really well known um, in these parts anyways. Um, it's a really, really unique liqueur. It, um, the flavor is almost like if you took all the sugar out of pineapple mm -hmm. and then roasted it. It's got mm -hmm. this really kind of bittery, sweet, there's a little bit of honey, a little bit of orange, almost quince flavor to it. It's really unique and really separates this cocktail from This will be, this will be a first else. for me. I don't think I've actually had it before. So. And, uh, and a little bit of Okanagan Spirits cranberry liqueur as well. Absolutely. Mm. So our next step is a little bit of honey water. When I say honey water, I just want to dilute the honey just a little bit so it breaks down in the cocktail. But that's going to be our, our simple sugar, essentially. And we again, do, you're using BC honey. We are using BC honey. We do go off and uh, source some things from Mexico for this particular one. We need some lime juice. We need to balance it out a little bit. Getting my mouth is starting to water. And the last part is the Fraser Valley cranberry juice. And that's just pure cranberry. Pure cranberry juice, not sweetened with anything. Um, fresh cranberry juice is quite acidic and quite tart. Yeah. So this is going to help balance out that cocktail a little bit more there for it. 
Next step, a little bit of ice, and a little shake. Mark's favorite part. This yeah? is my favorite part, yeah. <laughs> I actually don't do this at home, I just get other people to do it for me. Right. <laughs> That's what he says now. If you really want to see this man at work, you should see him do two shakers at a time. That's wow. actually, that's good. Yeah. Shake what your mama gave you, right? A little test, we got a good balanced cocktail. So apparently it is okay for me to test every cocktail that I make. Nice to know, <laughs> nice to know that it's approved by a professional. Absolutely. So I'll give it a little strain here. It's got a beautiful color. Ah, looks gorgeous. And, and a perfect step. garnish. Just a nice little piece of fresh thyme on top. Fantastic. And you're in. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Thank you. And to all of you, happy holidays. May you spend it with friends and family and people that love you. And for those that don't, have two of these. Oh, my God. That is fantastic. Good. Yeah. I love the thyme. It's subtle. Not over the top. Just enough to say hello. Cheers.